So now we're going to demonstrate the proper way to remove a TCC EZ. You need essentially two tools, you have scissors and a cast saw. The, uh, because of the way that the TCC EZ is designed, there is padding that goes down the anterior crest of the tibia, over the foot and plantarly, and also over the malleoli. So that's where you want to cut when you're using the cast saw. The cast saw vibrates, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, go circular, so this saw, because it vibrates and, and is not going in a circular motion, is not going to cut the patient's skin, but it can get hot as it's going through the cast, and then it can burn the patient's skin. So we still want to be careful and, and, uh, and use that guide to, uh, for the padding. So we'll remove this area where it was attached to the cast. Um, it, because this only it vibrates, it's not going to go through anything soft. So the cast saw will not cut through um, any of, of this padding. You can rest. The cast saw, when you turn it on, is you can either use a cast saw uh, with a vacuum or without a vacuum. This one does not have a vacuum. Uh, if you don't have a vacuum, you want to use a mask to be careful not to inhale any of the dust that's coming out of this. Um, so when you cut, I like to put have one hand on the saw and the other hand stabilizing myself along the cast. And then I'll make the cut here first on the edge, go all the way through the cast, and once you're through, then you can just kind of rock this back and forth all the way down the cast uh, until you get to the end. We'll go over the toes just a little bit. If, if we're stretching this, you don't need cast spreaders usually because you can stretch this just with your hands to help get it off. But if you can't get it off, you can go along this part right here along the malleoli because there's a malleoli padding here as well. So I'll show you how I do this. Then you can just spread this apart and check and see that all the fiberglass has been cut. And once that, once you ensure that, you still need the scissors because this cast is stuck to the underlying padding. So then you cut with the scissors through that underlying padding and just the cotton padding. Now you can see underneath we have the, the felt pads that we put on that we use to, as a guide. So see how this is, this is pliable enough that we're going to be able to get the patient's foot out of it without having to uh, use a cast spreader. So what I, I usually do is I'll spread this with my hands and I'll have the patient, and maybe you need some help with somebody else, but I'll have the patient lift uh, their leg and you just need to get the heel out first. And once the heel is out, then you can turn the cast this way. And you may still have some, something stuck on here, like padding or uh, some tape. And so once this cast is off now, then you can cut through the rest of this. Now the cast is removed. What you would do then is just use the scissors to remove the rest of the cast padding and the stockinette. 
and treat the ulcer.